Hey folks, Manny CA here. Back with another loading video. Hey, hey, how many times can you reload that hull? I know. Go to your favorite big box stores, walking around Wally World, you see shots of boxes of shot on the shelves. You're thinking to yourself, hmm, that's a pretty good deal, especially Wally World. And now the holidays are coming around. Ooh, did I say holidays? Christmas. And they're gonna have Black Friday sales, they'll have Christmas sales. You need to know what to get, what's good for the rest of the year to hunt, to shoot, trap, skeet, clay pigeons, whatever. This time, Fiocchi. Oh man, this is their hunting load line. 12 gauge, two and three quarter, one and an eighth ounce of shot number eight. Mm, 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 mm. Now, these are the clear shells. Ah, oh, I like the way you can see the shot. It's kind of cool. And that Euro wad, the honeycomb type Euro wad, let's see if we get that. Let me step out of the way so we can get that on camera here. I like that honeycombed Euro wad. It's supposed to offer better or less felt recoil apparently. And you can see the powder on the bottom. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like a thing of beauty. And these are the ones that don't say anything but just Fiocchi on them. 1250 feet per second, 70 millimeters, one and one eighth ounce with the dove. Oh, it's a dove. But it'll kill bunnies too, and pheasants, and anything. These things, value, 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 value. But can you reload them? Hmm, that's one thing we're gonna check out today. So, we're gonna load these till they give up the ghost. I get tired. Because basically, if you can load 10, if you get 10 loads out of a shotgun shell, 10 loads. Come on, guys, really? These things are in abundance. Let me show you the back. You guys like to see the packaging, right? Again, straight hull design, Euro shell holds more powder. More powder, guys. More powder. So, you can see how why you could barely see the powder compared to like the Winchesters and the Rams, the Americans, which are tapered in design. You need to choose your wads accordingly. Oh, here, head stamp. You guys, take a look at the head stamp. Uh, funny thing, some of these have a blue base wad in there on the bottom, which is readily noticeable, and others have a white. Now, these are white. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get my face out of the camera here. They're white. I've had some with blue, but I can't find them. You think they're different? I don't know. Oh, here's one with blue. I had to dig in the box a little bit. There. See the blue? Yeah. Odd, isn't it? Right on her base. Ooh. Hey. Bees everywhere. Ooh. So, how many times can you load them? I don't know. Let's try it out. Remember, Euro primers. We don't have any Euro primers. We're gonna be swaging these and we're gonna see how many times we have to swage them to get a good fit. Stick around. We'll have some fun. Oh, and by the way, happy Thanksgiving. That's this week. I really don't like to go on the whole holiday theme thing because then guys watch this video years from now and it's like, you know, Easter and they're like, Thanksgiving, that's kind of weird, isn't it? I know, it dates the video. But anyway, give thanks. Family, friends, country. Now, on to what we're all here for, and that's the testing. So, you guys that are veterans, you know how we do this. Let me run down real quick. We're gonna shoot these until they give up. Two of them, two, two, two. We're gonna use one ounce of, pow uh, one ounce of load, sorry, one ounce of shot with 24 grains of universal clays because I found that to be the perfect kind of all round load, okay? We'll get a little bit of dishing maybe because these are one and an eighth ounce, but we don't really have the right wads, but hey, it'll work. You've seen our videos before. How many times can we shoot these? I don't know. With our trusty 1400 naysayers of the Winchester 1400, I suggest you go and make a pizza right now. Mind the frame? Mind the frame, Chuck? I guess so. Come on, really? All right. We got hull damage on one of them after the first shot. What is that all about? <sighs> Could have been me. Maybe I was going a little too quick. Actually, we're going to shoot one more to replace this guy. We'll see what happens. Okay. After the first shot, 
you can see the primer pockets. They have that same European types, I wanna say squarish look, not exactly round. There we go. And our primers are just dropping right in. That's not good. So we're gonna do our little trick. We're gonna swage these. And I hope we don't have to sit here all day and swage them like we were doing after every shot on the Rios because that's not conducive to good loading. Yeah, this one, same thing. See? If you can remove them with your fingernail, that's not good. Much better. Oh, and if you wanna see that little trick that we do to swage your primer pockets, look back in our playlist. We tell you how to do it. Wadwise, we're going with our genuine figure eight. These are clay busters, very cheap. They have the bigger primer cup here, primer seal. First crimp. And on average, they're high quality shells, man. The crimp is very nice. It almost looks factory if I had put enough lead. Okay, after that shot, that second shot, they opened back up again. Back to the swage. Shot number three. And they're holding up very well. Nice, very nice. One stayed tight, the other one opened up. Take that for what you will. Shot number four, load number three. And we're looking okay, still good. Ow, ow, ow. Just kidding. Seems like we're gonna have to swage these after every shot, the primer pockets. But after you swage them, they're fine. Here's where you would save some time and do well to get some of the larger primers. Fiocchi, Noble Spore, Rio. Okay, so this is gonna be shot five, loading number four. We've got an issue with the crimp here. The plastic is fatiguing beyond integrity. It's losing its form. And I saw some cuts on the pedals too. We'll show you that after this shot. Oh, we had a failure to feed. Plastic's giving out. After that, number five, right? Five, five shots, four loadings. You can see just what kind of damage the heat does to the interior of the cases. These cases seem to be a little lower quality than the Cheddites, I wanna say. I don't know, they seem like it. And you can see the scorch marks in the case. And you can see right here, we've got some separation here. We're, got, we're getting some cuts, they're failing. These guys, stick a fork in them, are done. So, what have we learned? We've learned that if you're willing to do the work and swage the primer pockets, you can make the so-called Euro trash work. And they're not bad. Five loadings for a, I think we picked these up for like 250 a box on sale. Anyway, yeah, that's what I said. And that was years ago, it was a couple years ago. Wow, that's value. Five loadings, man, five. Plus, if you hunt like us, we hunt. We've been hunting. <laughs> you, could don't, you don't have to worry about them in the field, in the tall grass. See the grass we got around us? When you shoot, good luck trying to find your shells. So you can use these as a one and done. Hey, what more can you ask for? This is Manny CA. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, send them down. You like the video, you like these series of videos, 
you need to copy the link and send them to your buddies because YouTube is censoring. They're throttling our videos and their searches don't come up as much as they used to because they don't like us. They don't like spreading the gospel of the gun. This is why we created this channel. You guys have any questions, comments, concerns? Like I said, till next time.